You guys, are you guys ready for your headliner? He's one of my favorites. Give it up for the very funny M. Dot. What's up, Funky Town? Wow, we are finally here at the end. I haven't been home in a while. I feel good. I haven't been to Fort Worth in a long time. I've been in Lake Worth. <laughs> Like court, every morning I walk out my door, I feel like I'm walking to court. So many fucking white people. <laughs> I just walk out the door and be like, I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So help me God. And then I go about my work day. Oh shit. There's <laughs> a lot of white people in here. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. White people, y'all still spanking y'all kids? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I used to pray for spankings growing up. We got our ass whooped. That's what happened in my house. Man. We got our ass beat. <laughs> And like, check this out, so I, I think I brought my mom back like a flashback, right? Because I got two daughters, and my, one of my daughters got in trouble. So I had to whoop her, I didn't want to whoop her, but I'm, I'm like, bow, don't do it no more. Bow, don't do it no more. Bow. My mom walked past the door, was like, hey, nigga, let me get some of that shit. That shit look good, nigga. Let me get some of that. I remember I used to whoop your ass like that. Let me get some of that. I was like, sit your ass down. It's my fault. I know how to whoop a child. Got your ass down. Go smoke a blunt. <laughs> Black people have some of this shit like that. Anybody smokers out here? Damn. Y'all, they all high. You hear Woo! That's just a woo. Like, yeah, I mean, you know, shit. I mean, no, I mean, I'm the. I, I'll be the plug. <laughs> Noah got it, Noah got it, Noah got it. They can get it like right now. I'm like. <laughs> Right now, okay? Like, you just follow me outside right now. Like, y'all get it, you know what I'm saying? Um, let's see what I'm gonna do with y'all white people, man. Let me see what I'm gonna do with y'all. I have a lot of fun. This is great. I'm having a great day today. Today, I actually found out some awesome news, some amazing news that changed my life forever. I found out that my weed man is also my pizza man. Like, that was some awesome shit to find out right there. I don't give a fuck what you said. You know what I'm saying? I was like, oh shit, there is a God. I, just, I believe now, shit. You know what I'm saying? That's all it took. I'm gonna tell y'all how this shit happened, right? So, I call my favorite pizza place, order my favorite cheese pizza, hang up, all right? 30 minutes later, Jerome calls me. He's like, I didn't fucking order no weed. He's like, hey, what's up, bro? He's like, where you say you're staying again? I ain't, I ain't ordering no weed, bro. He's like, no, I got your pizza. I was like, nigga, what? You don't have a pizza, too? I nigga, stop by the store and pick up some Rillos. Hurry up, nigga, just go, 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 go. He <laughs> came over, one-stop shop, like everything. He like, put it out, he was like, first off, here's your pizza. That business done. Now what you want? You got the drone, you got the kush, you got the OG kush. I was like, this nigga hurt got everything. Oh, <laughs> well, my Spanish people at Spanish people in the house? I love you though, my, my lady's Spanish. I don't like the Spanish scene. We them freakiest ones. I ain't gonna lie to y'all about that. But no, look, check this out. Man, I had, a, I had a, a, a true Mexican come up to me, like don't speak any English, and was trying to get directions to Walmart. For me, you know what I'm saying? Like the whole other, he was like, eh, 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 Walmart? Eh, Walmart? Like, what the fuck? He's like, the Walmart. I was like, oh, you want to know what Walmart is? That's what you're saying. You want to know what Walmart is? He's like, yeah. I, like, I don't speak no fucking Spanish, but I was like, I did the best I could. I did the best I could. I was like, eh, 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 go down there. Go down there. Eh, eh, take it left. Take it left. I said the only Spanish words I knew. I was like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Go down there, take it right. The Walmart thing. <laughs> It's the Home Depot next to that motherfucker too. I know, I know where you're really trying to go. You're trying to see, you're trying to price check. <laughs> and they right next to each other. I'm gonna save you some time right there. You can straight go there. <laughs> Cause you know they like, man, I fuck with them. They build on, they build houses faster than the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I seen a mariachi band on the roof. They were like. <laughs> I'm gonna work, I got one working on my car right now. I ain't gonna lie to you. Outside, right here. He's like, shit, I don't. Hey, just, just fix it. I ain't even tell him what was wrong. I said, just fix it. He put a paper clip together and did some kind of freaky shit. 
<laughs> and that motherfucker started up, I was like, that's my, that's my Mexican right there. That's, that's my Mexican right there. <laughs> you gotta excuse me, I'm out. <laughs> hey, but check this out, man. I recently, like, I'm 30 years old. I recently just, for the first time, got racially profiled. And knowing the shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's different, you didn't know the shit. Like, I'm at a truck stop, you know, I'm going, I just want some gas, I just want to get some fucking gas. So I'm in line, and I'm waiting, and the cashier, a white lady, none of y'all, but it was a white lady at the cashier, and she was like helping everybody around me, but wouldn't say nothing to me. You know, so I'm like, what the fuck? And so this trucker walks in, a white trucker guy walks in here, put a cashier's check down for $1,500. This lady went to the safe, got $1,500 out of the safe, and got rid of the counter. I was like, nope, what do you want? Oh. I was like, no, bitch, we want you to count that money. That's what we want. Go ahead, go ahead and count that shit up right now. And she was like, no, 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 I have I said, no, bitch, I've been sitting there for five minutes. I can wait another 30 seconds, go ahead. And she was like, 100, 200. I was like, hey, nigga, start the car right now. Nigga, I think we got rent. Hell yeah, nigga, yeah, right now. Yes, yes. She was like, 400, 500, right then and there. A ski mask slowly started coming down my face. <laughs> It was about, but I was like, okay, fuck it. She, she was like, 1400, 1500. I said, don't nobody move. <laughs> like, Let me get 20 on pump five, bitch. Don't you ever <laughs> don't you have me again. I'll slap the shit out your ass. <laughs> and I thank God for crackheads, man. I just want to say that. I, I really do. Man. I thank God for a lot, but crackheads, they do a lot in this community. I just want to let y'all know that shit. You know? <laughs> she said they do. <laughs> like, no, seriously, man. I got. I, this is a true story, okay? I had a crackhead come. I was in Rosedale, and I had a crackhead come up to me trying to sell me diesel brakes. It's like, motherfucker, I'm in a Mustang. What the fuck do you think I want to drive? Diesel brakes. They were brand new too. He was like, I got these diesel brakes, man. Come on, man. Diesel brakes right here, man. I was like, man, I don't want no fucking diesel brakes. You like, nigga, ten dollars. I was like, yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute, ten dollars for some diesel brakes? I can flip the shit out of that. Let me get them diesel brakes. I know three truck drivers right now that need brakes. Got them. Man, I had a crackhead come up to me. He had a fucking helicopter. I was like, nigga, where we going? I don't know, nigga. Just give me seven dollars, nigga. I'll take you anywhere. Get me somewhere, nigga. I don't know, but I'm gonna get you there. <laughs> like, you know, I'm gonna fly this motherfucker. I'm gonna be flying helicopter since I was three, motherfucker. <laughs> I was like, alright, man, fuck it, shit. I got him there with his ass, too. I ain't lying. Like, and he was just sitting over there, nigga, I told you I'm gonna fly this motherfucking nigga. I was like, bro, we ain't even off the ground. You know what I'm Step back out this helicopter. You go ahead, my nigga. <laughs> And then why crackheads always ask you for five dollars? They don't ask you for five dollars, ten dollars. Like, nigga, let me get seven thirty-three. <laughs> like, for what? <laughs> you got something you really trying to get, ain't right? you? You be the exact same. Let me get, let me get two twenty-five. Let me get two. I'm like, I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna be around a lot of crackheads, man. But we all got some crackheads in our family, don't we? We all got some crackheads in our family. I got an aunt. She a crackhead. Well, she like a converted crackhead all the time. I don't know how it works. She was a crackhead, but now she's a Christian. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and like before she transferred over to a Christian from a crackhead, like one day I think it what did it was because her house caught on fire. She was in an apartment, an apartment caught on fire. And everybody made it out of the house at this point instead of me. I'm going over the balcony, though, because the fire, the house is, the front is fucked up. I'm going over the balcony. I got ready to jump. She was like, wait, 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 wait. I was like, what? She was like, go look in the back room, raise the bed up. I got two grams up under there, grab it. But I was like, Annie, I'm gonna get the hell up out this house. I ain't worried about your crack. <laughs> I'm like, damn, nigga, I just wanted to smoke something. That's not all I know. Anybody ever got to a fight with an African? Like a real fucking African, like a real African. Like a fly, dashiki, you know what? I'm dead fucking serious. Like, I'm gonna tell you why nobody said yeah. Because Africans will say shit to let you know you don't fucking want to fight an African. I got into it with an African. And I got ready to whoop his ass. I was like, you know, I'm going to knock this motherfucker out. And he was like, I'm going to show you this like when a lady gets a hold of a baby. Into it. <laughs> I'm going to show you this like when a lady gets a hold of a baby. I ain't say shit, I just got in my car and drove up and out. I'm going down 35, this motherfucker Barfoot running on the side of my car like, baby, I 
got to, I am cheat to, I don't give a fuck. Like, he stepped up walked back from this motherfucker. I'm like, look, I'm gay, okay? I don't wanna hear this shit. I just turn, I turn like a motherfucker. You wouldn't hit a gay person, would you? <laughs> Try to get some glasses. You wouldn't hit a nigga with glasses, would you? <laughs> oh, man. Don't make your get up out here. Oh, before I go, I just want to say, I don't want to, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I grew up with roaches, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Please put it in when you in the hood. Uh, and roaches, I got, I got tired of them, though. You get tired of them. You know, roaches ran me out of Texas. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I went to Wyoming and shit where roaches don't exist. It's too cold and shit. <laughs> and I realized how cold I said, you know what? I got so mad one day. I said, you know what? I go to Texas, get a fucking jar of roaches, and come just put them in the snow and let them motherfuckers freeze. You know, I'm mad. I got mad, man, because this is what happened. I'm gonna get up out of here, but this is what happened, man. Before I left, I'm sitting at the house. I'm chilling with my lady, right? You know what I'm saying? We was watching Meteor Man on TV and shit. You know? And so, you know, it's on TV, so commercials come on. So, you know, I'm playing with her nipples and shit. You know? And she, you know what I'm saying? She kind of into it and shit. And I remember it like it was yesterday, man. I'm a Chevy truck commercial came on and a roast crawl right across the TV stream. I was like, oh shit, what the fuck am I gonna do? And she was into it though. And I did the only thing I could, I was like, baby, look at that roast trying to drive that Chevy truck. Ain't that a bitch? I said, that's crazy, put dirt in the back and everything, baby. And I was still on the nipples too. And she was like, ooh, she's like, that roach is trying to drive that Chevy truck. Oh shit, oh shit, look at him. And I was good until the commercial changed and shit. And it was like a State Farm commercial. And I was like, look at that roach trying to buy insurance for that Chevy truck. Ain't that a bitch? She's like, nah, nigga, you got roaches. That's what that is. It was a cold ass night then. I just want to say that. I took a cold shower. Hey, yo, my name is M. Dot White. I'm finna get ready to get up out of here. You can look me up on Instagram at underscore M. Dot White.